my name is Mike Morris. I work for Expedient as a product strategy architect. So I'll be talking about vRealize operations. So our primary use case for vROPS is really enabling operational efficiency in the data center from a support perspective. So uh, we use that to diagnose problems, look for proactive uh, signs of failure, and you know, it really makes a big difference on the troubleshooting side. Yeah, so the most valuable features for us are some of the trending and analysis on workload. So it doesn't just look to see if something is maximized, say, at 100%. It figures out what the normal is for the application. So it, it's not just if something is maxed out and causing a problem, but you know, maybe if something is higher than normal, it's running outside of its normal uh, range. That really helps us to identify something that other products might not necessarily note as an issue. So VROPS is really more user friendly than some of the other products that we've seen on the market. Uh, it was very easy for our technicians to, to pick up. The search functionality works great, it makes it easy for them to get down to a workload that they're possibly having an issue with. So it, it's definitely improved the organization by increasing the efficiency at which we can diagnose issues. So you know, if a customer were to call in reporting a problem, we've probably already noticed it in VROPS and are actively working on resolving it. It has definitely made a big difference in the time to troubleshoot. Uh, it significantly reduced it. As a cloud provider, some of the reports that are available in vRealize operations enable us to be a partner to the customer and show them, you know, there's maybe workloads that are over-provisioned. So while that might mean scaling back some resources, ultimately it means a better experience for the customer. So stability in vRealize has been great for us. We have no outages, uh, no impacts, and the upgrade process really been great so far. Yeah, so uh, we have uh, 11 data centers, uh, and we utilize vRealize operations at, at all the data centers. So we've really scaled it out. Uh, I think we're at around 16,000 active VMs reporting into to vRealize. We've hit no scalability issues. We have, we've used tech support from VMware for pretty much all their products. The vRealize operation, the support experience has been pretty good. Uh, if I had to think of one thing that could be improved, I would probably lean towards making it easier to pull the dashboards from vRealize operations into uh, you know, other products, you know, maybe outside of it, you know, with a uh, you know, company branded dashboard, you know, a display and a knock, that type of thing. Yeah, but probably the big one that a lot of people will compare to vROPS is something like a Veeam 1. Uh, you know, we looked at Veeam 1 among other products and found that the level of metrics we got out of vRealize operations, you know, because it comes from VMware, were pretty much second to none. So, uh, you know, as a cloud provider, we, we have a dedicated team, my team, that, that goes through and evaluates new products. So uh, it's what we do day in, day out, and you know, we have a fairly lengthy evaluation process that goes in. We look at everything from uh, the support of the product provided by the vendor, the patching process, the upgrade process, their roadmap. We really go through every facet of the, the product to make sure that it's going to be a good fit for our organization before we consider putting it into production. Yeah, I, I would say it's, it's a nine out of 10. There's always room for improvement with any product, but it's a solid solution. Yeah, I, I would absolutely say, you know, uh, vRealize, for instance, is it's easy to stand up. It's very easy to point at your workload. It's not going to be impacting, you know, Put it up there, take a look at it, point at your infrastructure and just see what comes out. I think, I think you'll be surprised. Mm -hmm.